In this video, we'll be seeing how to create a contact form in Laravel. Let's create a new Laravel project. Laravel new and you can give the project name here and hit enter. This will create a new Laravel project. We can select none for now. One and no. Select the database. In order to run the migrations, you need to have MySQL running. So start MySQL. I'm using SAM for this. You can install SAM and uh, run the MySQL. Now you can type yes here and that will run the migrations. It will create a new database and it will run the migrations. How open the project inside PHP Storm? You can use any ID. You can use VS Code or anything. That's fine. And here we have to go inside the routes and uh, let's add a route for the contact form. Let's create a controller for this. So open the terminal. You have to make sure that you are inside the project directory. And then you can type php artisan make controller and the name of the controller. So you have to type php artisan make colon controller and then you can give the name of the controller here. You have to make sure that you don't make any typos while typing and simply make the controller and you can go to app HTTP controllers and you can see the controller that we have created. So now we can uh, remove this function from here and uh, we can use the controller that we created. So I have added this controller here. You can see the class is added as a use statement on the top. You have to add this on the top here and uh, you can call a function like index or something. We haven't created this function yet. So we'll be doing that. So let's go inside the controller. And here we can create a function index. Now this index will return a view. So you can return a view and uh, you can name it contact us. Now you have to create this view. So for that you can go to resources, views and uh, let's create a new view here. So you can create a new file contact us dot blade dot php. And here we can create the design of our contact form. So I have created this simple UI. I'm using Bootstrap 5 and I have created this contact form. You can see we are having a form here and we are having this input tag for the name, email and also for the message here. And we are having a button to submit. So you can type this or you can select any contact forms from the internet and you can use that here. You can use any contact form of your choice. You can use any design that doesn't matter. The main thing that you have to concentrate is the action. You have to give this action properly. This route is important. We haven't created it yet, but we'll be creating it soon. And uh, after that, you have to set the method to be post. And then you have to add the CSRF token. That is also important. Since we are using Laravel, you have to add this. And then in the input tag, you can see we are having this name. You have to give the name for the name. That is a uh, name. We are using the name as name itself you can give any name that doesn't matter f name or full name anything but you have to use the same name corresponding on the controllers as well uh, right now i'm giving it as name itself and uh, you can set the old value and all that doesn't matter if you want to remove it you can remove it as well then you can see we are having an input tag for the email you can create that as well so the next thing is email and the name for the email that is email and uh, we are having this text area and we have set the name for the text area as message. You can see that here. Okay, hope it is visible properly for you. This is the text area. We can type this in. And we are having a button to submit the details. So this is the button. And it is of type submit. Now these are the important things. You have to create a form. And it should have an action. And it should have the method post. And then you have to add the CSRF token. Then you should have an input tag for the name field and it should have a name which is name here in our case you're using name here you can give any name but you should use the exact name when you are going to type that in the controller okay so use the name you can follow along with the video and you can use the name that is name here and here we are simply showing the error in case we are leaving it uh, empty or something in case our validation fails we'll be showing the error here Okay, so that's happening here. So this will show the error in the case of name. And this will show the error for email. This for the message, etc. So that's that. So you have to add this name option here. 
and then the email here the name is important so you have to give the name for the email email and then a text area with the name message then a button to submit the details so that's all so you simply have to add this form and you're good to go so if you want to use the same ui as that i'm using you can simply post the video and type this and uh, you can use the same ui Go back to our controller and here we are returning the view that is contact hyphen us so this view we are returning it now you can go to the web.php that is the route and here we are calling the function so this route is working right now so we can try running this application so open the terminal and type php artisan sir hit enter and it is running you can open this one so this is the sample application you can see this is the welcome page Let's open our route that is slash contact us. So give the slash contact us here and hit enter. So we are getting an error that is contact dot submit route is not defined. We forgot to define this route. It is required in order to run this. So for now you can go back to the UI that is the view part contact us dot play dot php. And here you can simply remove this route from here. Simply remove this route for now and you can refresh this page. Now you can see this is the contact us form. So simply remove that route and uh, you can refresh this page and you can see the form that is this one. So you will be using this contact us form. Now you can add that route back because we need this route. We'll be creating this route now. So you can copy this name of this route that is contact.submit and we can go back to the web.php here and let's create a route. So let's duplicate this line and let's change this to post method. And you can set the URL to be same. That doesn't matter. You can set the same URL. And then let's call a different function here. So let's set a function like this. So this will be our function. Now we have to create this function. So this is the route. And we have to give the name for this route also. So let's add a name. And that is contact, contact.submit. So this is the name. You have to use the exact name that we are giving here on this part. Okay. So use the same name and you're good to go. Now we have to create this function. Let's go inside the controller and here we can create a function. And we are receiving the request and here we can validate. So request of validate and inside that we are going to pass an array. Let's give a semicolon here itself and here we can check if the name is present or not. So for that name required. Then the second part is email. So let's set email required. Then the third one is message. So let's set this as message that is required. So you can see name, email and password which is required. Let's go back to the view and you can see name, email and message. See, so that's what I was uh, mentioning earlier. So set the name of each input tag and you can use that here. Okay. And that's it. You can also set other specific constraints like you can set this as an email or you can set something like you can set a minimum length or you can set much more things here. That doesn't matter since this is a contact as form. Uh, this is more than enough. You can check if this is an email also. So add this or and email. So it will check for both. Now you can send this mail. So for that you can type mail row and you can pass the message that is dollar request of message and then give a comma and you can pass a callback function and inside that we can set the two option so for that dollar message of two and we can pass the email to whom this email should be delivered to so something like admin at codesec.com i can give you an email so this will be the email to which the contact us form will be sent to. Now let's give the subject for that you can add subject and you can pass the subject something like contact us from and you can pass the name or email something dollar request or let's pass email. Okay, email. You can pass the name also. Okay, let's pass name here. And then you can set a semicolon here. Now you can set the from 
so dollar message from and you can set the email here dollar request of email you can also set the name dollar request of name here and give a semicolon now here at the end you can give a semicolon here so this is our mail so it will be sent to this email and the subject will be this one and the content will be this message and uh, it will be sent from the email that the user will be submitting and the name also okay so this is our email now on the ui part you can simply return some message so return back with uh, some uh, status okay you can set success and you can set thanks for contacting us okay so you can set a message here now we'll be displaying this you can see here we are displaying that okay we are checking if there is a session success if there is we are going to display that here inside an alert so that's this one is for so we are passing the success and it will show this message now simply scroll to the top and you can see we have added this use statement on the top since i'm using php Storm, this will be added automatically if you're using any other id you have to use some plugins or you might have to add this so simply add this use statement it is important you can see we are using the mail class from illuminate slash support slash bracket slash the mail okay so you should use this one this particular one now the most important thing is you have to set the smtp server details so you can go to dot env and here we can see the mail details so you have to set these so you have to change this log to smtp and you have to set the host name the port username password encryption type and all the email from and the name etc you can set the name this one this will return this name okay so whatever name that you're going to give here that will be returned here so you have to set this smtp mailer details for smtp details we'll be using mail trap you can use this it is free to use in a test mode so you can use this one and uh, we can create an inbox here so i have already created this inbox you can create one here and uh, we can open this one and we have been using this for testing purposes you can use this for testing so whichever mail that you're going to send will arrive here okay it will not go to that specific user but it will come here because it, this is in sandbox mode so open the inboxes here and you can go to this smtp details and uh, we can copy all these credentials and paste that there so we can copy the host name port is same so you can copy the username and the password so let's come here on the env file and uh, you can change the password which we copied then you can change the username so the username was this one and you can set the host name and the host name was this one okay so we have set the host name port was same so this is the port and you can set the username password and now you can set this mailer that change this one to smtp you can also set this encryption as uh, tls you can change this from address and uh, also this name so we can set this uh, later on so now your app is good to run and uh, we can try running this one and check if it is working so let's come back to our contact form refresh this page and you can try entering some details so you can enter the details and uh, click on send message so you can see thanks for contacting us that means the email is sent successfully and here if you come back to the inbox you can see a new mail has arrived so you can click on that and you can see the message and you can see to address and from address all those details here so you can verify if it is working properly you can test the email like this so that's all for this simple video on how to create a contact us form in laravel hope you like this video if you have any doubts you can leave a comment below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such videos